All right, what's up everyone? Sean here and basically we're going to uh, wash the car once again with the rinseless style. Uh, before we go, go do that, we do the routine check around. We got some bird poo on the hood, All right? Get a pretty good idea. Quite, quite a bit on the hood actually this time around. Windshield pretty dirty, at least in my eyes anyway. Some poo on the roof, poo on the side right here. Then birds love to leave them gifts. Oh, and then this lovely little uh, little mark right here left by the uh, mechanics at uh, um, the Toyota dealership because I got my oil changed recently. Lovely. We'll get that off real easy though. I'm sure anyway. Back window. Look at that. All right. Dust in the back. Oh yeah, same, uh, similar mark right here. A little gift from the mechanics. But at least you know um, they check the back. <laughs> That's nice to know, I guess. And then you got this whole thing right here. Bumper got some poo on it as well. Poo, poo, poo everywhere. Poo, poo. All right. Poo everywhere. Yeah, poo right here. Right there, right there, you get the picture, right. I already cleaned the tires earlier. I uh, tested a um, sprayer, like a foam sprayer that you will hopefully see uh, before or after the video, this video. Anyways, um, welcome to the wash, if I haven't said already. Another episode of the wash. What is particularly going to be special is that um, for one, the camera is a little different because I'm actually holding my hand, but two, uh, I'm actually testing out a configuration I made myself, which is basically um, a regular like uh, garden hose uh, spray gun right here, you can see. But then I have these uh, quick connects right here. And I have this like misting tip right here, which I'm definitely very curious about. And then the uh, quick connect right here, that's supposed to be for the air hose, but I'll definitely go to the keg right there. <clears throat> Sorry about the noise in the back, but yeah, anyway. Uh, we'll definitely see if this works or not, especially with this like angle extremely down like that. But yeah, we're gonna pre-soak the car, pre-treat it, and then after for the second spray, I'm going to be using this. This I call the silencer because <laughs> because this thing looks like a big old suppressor. Look at that. And it got the same configuration right here. This is a um, three-fourths uh, garden hose thread um, connect converting into a uh, female um, quarter inch uh, MPT uh, thread right here, along with a quick connect right there. So I can do that with some uh, thread tape on it, all that stuff. Same old, like it, this came in a two pack, that's why I was able to do this easily, pretty cheap. So we're gonna try this out, this works. And yeah, <laughs> so we'll see which one will work. Um, better or the same or whatever we'll definitely have some fun this today i like to test out like different configurations for sprays that's just my little shtick anyway so anyway uh we'll get this all set up we got the bucket all ready with rinse's wash and uh, we'll be right back So I thought this would mist a lot finer, but it definitely did not. So I uh, gonna have to say this is probably not gonna be my go-to. So we're gonna just uh, go ahead and um, try and switch if we can. All right, so here's the silencer. We're gonna see if this works a little better or not.
So in other words, not so much. <laughs> they both do not uh, miss how I want them to. Very unfortunate. And it's not to mention leaking like crazy. So kind of a failure on these ones. But hey, now we know. <laughs> Now, that being said, I'll be willing to uh, stick it with this one of, of the two, but um, the mist isn't as, still isn't as fine as I want it to be. And the angle on this is a pretty uh, extreme, so um, I'm just going to have to uh, bear with it for today. Actually, it's now working pretty pretty good. I don't know what happened the first time, but it's now spraying a pretty good mist. So I'm actually like really starting to get attached to this, uh, well, attachment, because <laughs> I, I think it's actually pretty cool. Um, the only thing though, yeah, um, the angle on this is pretty pretty deep or steep. So maybe what I would do is try to find um, an extension, like a little bit, and then maybe that'll do a little better. And then hopefully we can kind of adjust it from there. But for right now, I actually like this better overall than the silencer. I even gave it a nickname and everything. This is just the mister, but looks like the mister is already doing a pretty fine job as is. And you may have noticed, yes, I'm using not my head uh, head strap or whatever. I'm actually clipping this onto my uh, my tank. So you kind of see my you can kind of see my setup right here right now. Right here, you can see this uh, bendable arm right here. You got this magnet clip right there to attach the GoPro right there, and then. This cable right here is for um, the battery pack right here to power the, the GoPro. All right, it's been well over a minute or two, so I was gonna go ahead and uh, rinse it off just to be safe.
nice tight water beads right there with that ceramic coating. DIY detail eight year. All right, once again, we're gonna apply some rinseless. Now for the contact wash, after we reapplied uh, the uh, rinse list, which is by the way, Hero, once again, I got a new Yahweh Legacy sponge. I was able to uh, grab my hand on the one. <laughs> I was lucky to get one because these were apparently like selling out like hotcakes at some places, but I got this at Carzilla or something like that, or some somewhere um, in those like random distributors. So anyways, New fresh sponge, no, no, no more of that stained one. Um, so the, now we can have a pretty clean contact wash. Alright, so now uh, two gauntlet towels to uh, do the drying.
it guys pretty much i just have to put the dry, uh, tire dressing on so but yep another clean car so all that stuff is gone i think there was some staining that happened unfortunately with the uh i don't know if you can see that right there but little tiny yellow thing hopefully it'll come off eventually but yeah that was from the the bird poo unfortunately but otherwise bug right there like i always say bugs love the clean cars so ain't see a beauty once again speckle right there that's fine that is a clean car guys i just have to put the tire dressing on but that's about it so i'm going to record this part and then we're going to call it but yep that is the wash with hero rinses once again but the new nozzle somewhere over here yeah i think what i'll do essentially is have an angle like this i'm just going to just spray it to the side like that uh, at least for right now. Maybe if I can find a suitable um, extension, then I can work a little better. But yeah, I think I'm gonna stick with this and then the other spray spray nozzle or thing, whatever, spray wand. Yep. There is a tiny bit of staining from the bird poo, unfortunately, but I think that'll come off eventually, hopefully. Maybe I'll like um, do a little, tiny bit of uh, hand polishing, but that's about it. That's the only quote-unquote issue I have with this. Ain't she a beauty? Ain't she a beauty once again? Look at that. Uh, the staining is like really tiny for the camera to see. But it's like right there. So. It's like on the bottom at least. So it's not where anything like super obvious Look at that, more bugs trying to hop on my clean car. Like I always say, like I always say, bugs love clean cars, man. That's my, I guess that's one of my quotes for this series. <sighs> I guess that's just how it goes here on this channel. But hey, clean cars attract all walks of life, right? <laughs> so, that is uh, essentially it on that. So with that, thank you very much. Oh, look at that, another one. Right there. It's like these flying ants or something, I don't know. Anyways, thank you very much. And hope to see you all in the next one. Shout out.